Sharif Cooper, one of the top prospects coming out of high school, getting drafted in the second round for eighth, well, 48th overall, 18th pick in the second round. And then all the way to getting waived. One year into his NBA career, waived by the Atlanta Hawks when he was literally on a two-way contract. How does that even happen? I do not know. So, he last season for the Atlanta Hawks in his rookie year averaged .5 points per game, .4 rebounds, and .4 assists. That's terrible. While shooting 16.7% from three and 21.4% from the field. 0.0 steals, 0.0 blocks, 0.4 turnovers. Now, if we look at his G League numbers, his G League numbers look very, very good, actually. 17.1 points per game, 4 rebounds, 7.5 assists. Um, also, getting 1 steal, 0.3 blocks. Like, he puts up pretty good numbers. His 3-point percentage was also good at 37% on four and a half attempts per game like pretty good numbers 43 and a half percent from the field in the g league isn't great but it's not terrible so i am optimistic about that because of how well he did play in the g league that is definitely good enough to get yourself called up into the nba seven and a half assists is very good to go along with 17 points so um i, I like the signing for the cavaliers but I also don't at the same time because I don't think he's quite ready for the NBA yet. Uh, I think it was smart of them in a way because now he'll go play for their G League team if they end up waiving him, which I think is a very strong possibility. I guess technically they could give him a two-way spot. I don't know if they have both their spots filled. I assume they do, um, so they'd have to waive someone. But I, I like the idea of him spending most of his time in the G League for at least one more season and then I think maybe he'd be ready for the NBA. His problems are just his, his size. He's listed at 6'1". I think that that is a stretch. He was listed at 6'4 going into the draft, but it was a typo. And apparently it was six foot point four. So he's not actually 6'1". He's like 6.04 feet or something like that. Six feet and .04 inches. I think he's 5'11". I think six foot is a stretch. But... Um, I don't know. It's just it's a strange signing for me because he did so bad in the summer league, like extremely bad, not good enough to get himself a Exhibit 10 contract. But we all know what he was in the G League, which was very, very good. We all know what he was in high school, which is very, very good. So this man has a ton of potential. We just don't know if he's going to live up to it yet. So far, he has lived down. I don't even know what you say. He has lowered our expectations significantly if this guy became a role player that would be a success at this point so i don't know what you guys have to say in the comment section below don't forget to leave a like subscribe and turn notification bell. although we're trying to hit 10k subs we might be a 6k by the time you're seeing this if not though drop a sub so we can get there uh i would say player comparison i feel like he's going to end up being like a quinn cook type player um i feel like it's a pretty good comparison let me know who you got, your guys is in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one peace